Picking shoes. Uh, generally shoes are all skilly brogues, uh, black, good quality black leather. We do a whole range of shoes. This is uh, sort of the budget gilly brogue. It's a good leather gilly brogue, but it's got a man-made rubber sole. The reason we do these is it's a very good price, and for folk who are in pipe bands, if they're going out and about over fields or uh, lawns, they could be wet. Obviously, there's no water going to be penetrating through the sole of the shoe. So that's the budget gilly brogue. It's a good, comfortable fit as well. Next quality is uh, our top quality brogue. It's got a good leather sole with a quarter piece steel heel. It's a better quality leather and the Gilly Brogues you've got the leather um, upper and you've always got the long leather laces. Top quality leather shoe, it's um, a better quality leather upper brogue pattern and it's got a good leather sole with a quarter piece steel piece uh, and these are generally in our top quality packs. We also do a deluxe leather shoe which is a top quality leather it's got a top quality uh, welted stitched on sole, again with a quarter piece steel piece. Next shoe we do is a top quality leather shoe. It's not a gilly brogue, it's just like a normal shoe. Again, it's got a good uh, leather sole, uh, stitched, welted, stitched on. It's got no quarter heel piece. Uh, some people uh, don't like to wear a gilly brogue, so they can just wear a normal brogue shoe. This is a Jacobite shoe, which has got the buckle, and it's got the square toe piece. Again, it's a good leather sole, and this is more of a fashion shoe, but this is what they would have worn in Jacobite times. A um, bit more fashionable, um, and there's no laces in these. Laces, on a Gilly Brogue, the long laces, the shoe doesn't have a tongue. And when you're putting the, the, the shoe on, you twist the laces three or four times, pull it tight, round the back of your leg, round the front, and some folk like to tie the shoe, tie their lace on the front of the shoe, like that, or if you want, you can tie it to the side. It's an indiv individual choice. Budget sock, it's uh, a wool nylon sock, it's usually a little bit, bit less wool in these socks, um, they're mostly more acrylic and they've got a pattern top and it's just stitched together and you can feel a wee ridge here. Next sort of quality sock, uh, this is one of our own makes, it's uh, a good uh, machine washable sock, they're all machine washable, it's uh, got a hand link toe so there's no seam and again it's got the pattern top. And these we generally put into our sort of uh, medium and uh, better quality kilt packs. And these have got round about 50% wool. Again, we can do them in colours, uh, black, navy. You can also do socks with thistles, sole tyres, different designs. These are more fashionable. Most folk tend to go for the plainer ones. And we can do plain colours as well. There's a massive range of plain colours. Plain colour socks and blue lovets and green lovets are generally worn with uh, ancient kilts and they usually match the colour of the jacket. Modern colours, um, if you're wearing it with a, a dress jacket, you'd always wear sort of white. But the fashion just now, you can also wear black socks as well with a black jacket and black spawn. We do better quality uh, wool nylon socks. These are merino wool socks. Again, they've got nice hand linked toes. Um, and these are sort of generally in the deluxe kilt packs. And we can do different designs like thistles or a sort of cross on them as well. And we can also do ones which have got uh, the embroidered sole tire and thistles on these as well. 
We also do argyle kilt hose. Um, these are all handmade, and handmade socks usually take between four and eight weeks to make. And the strikers will generally pick up the colours in the kilt as well. Garter flashes are obviously go round underneath your kilt hose um, to keep your socks up. And you can get these in plain colours, or we can also do tartan ones. And the tartan ones we obviously make to match your specific kilt. Tartan flashes are generally made if we've got enough excess cloth from the, the offcuts of the kilt when the kilt's been made. But plain flashes, a big range of plain flashes. Again, they're all adjustable. You can put them around your calf.